In this video, we're going to talk about some of the threats to biodiversity and we'll discuss some solutions and ways we can reverse some of the damage we've done to our ecosystems. So biodiversity talks about how much variety of living things are found in an area. So how many different types of species and then the numbers of those types of species found in a region. And a healthy ecosystem would be biodiverse. It would have lots of different organisms in healthy quantities. A dominant species is the most abundant species in an ecosystem. And if it's removed, the whole ecosystem could collapse. An example of this would be the American chestnut. It got wiped out by a fungus and seven species of insects were also wiped out when that happened. So this would be an example of um, American chestnut. A keystone species is a species that affects the population numbers and the health of an ecosystem. So an example would, of that would be otters keep sea urchin populations in check. If the otter numbers drop, the urchin population will explode and then they will eat up all the kelp which will cause other ramifications within the ecosystem. Ecosystem engineers are species that alter the ecosystem so much that a new ecosystem is formed. An example would be beavers. They build their dams, which alters the flow of water, and that creates ponds and clearings for new organisms. So they literally are engineering new spaces for new ecosystems. Another threat to biodiversity is habitat loss. So when an ecosystem is so altered, some species can no longer live there. So an example of that would be deforestation, building a hydroelectric dam, draining a wetland to build a subdivision. Those are all examples of habitat loss. An alien species is a species that is accidentally or even deliberately introduced to a new location. And the new species then competes with the native species and sometimes forces them out. So some examples of this would be zebra mussels. They came over from other countries in the ballast of ships and they have plenty they've been able to survive quite well in our Great Lakes and they eat up some of the food sources for some of our fish. Um, so that's a problem. Purple loosestrife is a plant that um, was brought into people's gardens. It's pretty purple flowers, but the problem is, is that the seeds dispersed and ended up in our wetlands and they're now competing with our cattails, um, which then reduces habitats for some of the animals that would live in the cattails. Another threat to biodiversity is over-exploitation, and that's when we use or extract a resource until it's depleted. So examples would be overfishing of yellowfin tuna it has depleted the population quite a lot, and lots of other organisms have been overhunted, and that causes problems. Now extinction is when you can't go back. Um, that occurs when all members of a species have died. So an example would be the dodo. It was a bird that lived on some islands in the South Pacific and they didn't have any natural predators. And then when European settlers arrived, they ended up taking them as an excellent food source and the dodo didn't know how to defend themselves and they got over exploited. Now, restoration ecology is when humans intervene to restore damage or destroy an ecosystem. And some examples of this would be reforestation. So replanting native trees in the region that they originally were and um, just restoring an ecosystem back to its original.